Kyle Shermer. And for our capstone, we were to test for a performance of antennas on a wireless mesh network. Our client is FireTide. Their advisor is Safi and Ryan. Before we start talking about our project, I'm just going to explain some of the differences between a regular wireless network and a wireless mesh network. On your left hand side is a diagram of a wireless network that most of you guys have in your homes. You have a router that connects all the devices together. If this router goes down, you will lose access to your network, or if you take any of the devices out of range, the connection will also be lost. On the right hand side is a wireless mesh network. A wireless mesh network is more cost effective to set up because it requires less cabling. So, so if you wanted to like expand your network, all you'd have to do is just add more nodes. And uh, it's self-configuring, so like the new nodes would automatically incorporate itself with the existing network. So why is a wireless mesh network useful? Well, in this scenario, a city has deployed wireless nodes all across the city uh, on buildings, in the event of an emergency, like a fire that all know we're about to be outside, a fire engine is the first to respond. A fire engine equipped with a mobile node can send voice data, video data, or any type of data to the entire network. They can send video to the police vehicles and even the ambulance that is just being dispatched from the hospital. This allows the ambulance to assess the, assess the situation before it even arrives. So FireTide, based out of Los Gatos, is a leader in wireless mesh network technology. They needed a way to test their hardware and different antennas in a real world environment to better serve to their customers. They have asked Michelle and I to, uh, to help them conduct performance tests and gain statistics on different they came down to the CSUMB and installed a, the Inner Garrison test track, which is just about a mile off campus here on Inner Garrison Road. As you can see from this topology of the network, there are two rows of red dots. Each red dot is a actual wireless node. There's two networks here, a backhaul mesh and a mobility mesh. Whenever a vehicle equipped with a mobile node enters Inner Garrison's test track, any data like video can be offloaded to the wireless node on one of the wireless nodes on the mobility mesh. All that data is sent directly up to the backhaul mesh and the backhaul mesh sends all this data back to the com command center as fast as possible. Here's a Google, Google rendering of the test track that we tested the different antennas on. We would attach the antenna to a vehicle connected to a mobile node and first create the profile for the antenna for the specific track. Once we created the profile, we would test the performance and provide the data analysis back to our client fire type. So we had to test three different types of antennas, omnidirectional, panel, and sector antennas. Each, each antenna has different characteristics and can be used in different scenarios. We used IPER, what Andrew was working on, to, to measure the data sent from the client to the command center, and we did all this testing along with the FireTide test engineers. Here's a sample performance chart of what we provided FireTide. It has the formula that we were using, the radio frequency and the channels that the nodes were on, the detachment thresholds, and the throughput value when the mobile node was connected to the specific node on the track. 